Will Web 3 be less secure than Web 2? During the existence of the internet, from the early 1990s to the present, with search engines replacing encyclopedias, libraries, and newspapers as the main way to access the internet today, the internet has become the main source of information. At the same time, as the internet continues to grow, so do the security concerns and vulnerabilities that expose it to danger. Web 2 makes it possible for users to interact with the network, and the most representative is the popularity of UGC. Web 3 is fundamentally widely accepted as it relates to applications of blockchain, cryptocurrencies, and cybersecurity. Blockchain and cryptocurrency distributed ledger for tracking and verifying all transactions in the network. Every participant has access to the transaction. Hackers are breaking through the network and everyone can access the transactions, the pseudonyms involved. Users inherent to Web3 are identified by their public key and blockchain address, making them pseudonymous. Compared to a standalone website hosted on a single server, Web3 uses the blockchain's immutable ledger to store data. This means that the use of blockchain provides greater resilience against censorship. From this point of view, Web3 security must be better than Web2. However, where there is data distribution, the data is also at risk. Blockchain integrates various technologies to provide a secure record of transactions between parties without a central authority, such as banks, while Web2 is highly centralized. A large portion of web traffic and infrastructure is controlled by big tech companies like Google, Amazon, etc. While this has major implications for privacy protections, it also means that these organizations are responsible for their own security and devote significant resources to protecting their infrastructure. In Web3, blockchain provides a secure mechanism for exchanging information on a peer-to-peer -peer network. It has many uses in money transfer, etc. While decentralization is one of the most important advantages of Web3, there are also greater privacy and security advantages. In Web3, maximizing data privacy is a key priority. The data will be entirely in the hands of users, who can choose to leak or withhold information. Web3 will also be more secure than earlier versions of the internet due to blockchain technology and its self-contained structure. It's becoming more difficult for hackers to exploit the network, and even if they do, their actions will become more transparent. But in a decentralized system, hacking is still possible, despite the fact that most blockchains have built-in protections against this possibility. Web3 is taking blockchain technology to the next level. It proactively removes financial barriers and revolutionizes how we interact with online money and liquidity. As a revolutionary financial resource, Web3 is the financial layer on which the internet presents the global economy. Blockchain, cryptocurrencies, and tokens are not just a mysterious online currency. Another mature economic world, which is born and bred in the internet ecology parallel to the real economic world, grows with the development of digital financial technology. In the digital economy, Web3 products meet special needs that traditional financial systems cannot. The application layer being built is the one that enterprises should be most concerned about, as it will undoubtedly have an impact on many companies in the future. The introduction of smartphone-like apps brought us new ways of using our phones. Initially, these apps were primarily focused on mobile gaming. Web3, the application layer of the blockchain, brings us new ways to utilize the internet. Through cryptocurrencies, money is integrated into the web itself in Web2, as evidenced by the nearly $26 billion in DeFi hackers by June 2022. It makes it easier for cybercriminals to monetize their attacks, which makes financial attacks and security even more important to consider. Cybercrime is driven by money. Most of the most frequent attacks, like ransomware, offer a clear way to monetize. Financial theft in Web2 typically involves stealing valuable data and monetizing it in some way, such as bank card information or data that can be used for fraud. As Web3 gains momentum, developers have begun creating innovative applications to secure digital assets, which are just beginning to demonstrate the potential power of the blockchain application layer. The internet economy is still developing and will inevitably continue to be popular in the next 10 years. The next internet era will be greatly influenced by today's builders and innovators. However, the opportunity to innovate to address new security concerns brought about by various application architectures will determine the success of Web3. New and secure infrastructure and routes must be created for possible revenue streams, especially for curated content, goods, and experiences. 
Like any other system, the Web3 system necessarily includes security checks and balances. The decentralized nature of Web3 and blockchain technology breeds particular security concerns due to the lack of maturity in institutional-grade security. Monitoring and managing security breaches in these networks is challenging because there's no central authority responsible for these networks. As such, these technologies have been targeted by hackers, as they are often used to store sensitive data, most notably cryptocurrencies. Since wallets are still software, they are still code that can be hacked, which is naturally profitable. Before Web3 replaces Web2, it needs major improvements. As the technology develops and matures, some security issues may eventually be resolved, while other new ones will emerge as the technology evolves. Opponents will come to realize that Web3 is the pinnacle of decentralized financial services and that blockchain is here to stay. All right, that's it for this today. I'm Frederick, a creator who has independent thoughts on the future of the web. If you are satisfied with the video content, I hope you can like, subscribe, and share it. If you want to know more about the future web or you want to discuss the content, please leave a message in the comment area. Thank you very much and see you next time.